Welcome back to another towing video. Ford has loaned me a new electric F-150 Lightning and we're going to max it out by towing 10,000 pounds. Super brave of Ford to loan me the truck. This video is not sponsored. They're just letting me borrow the vehicle. If you remember, we did this exact same towing test with my Rivian about three months ago. And today we're gonna get the final verdict on which electric truck can tow better. My Rivian made it right on 100 miles with the EV Humvee on its back. So let me know down in the comments how far you think we'll get with the Ford Lightning. However, while both the Rivian and the Ford do have the same battery size underneath, the Ford F-150 has a few perks that might help it while towing. The first of which is it has street tires instead of off-road tires. And the second thing is that instead of four electric motors underneath, the Lightning has two, which already gives it more range than the Rivian. We're starting this towing test with 310 miles of range, where with the Rivian we had 275. And of course, it's not freezing right now, which is also a big factor. So leave your guess down in the comments before we get started. EVs have plenty of power for towing, just for not super long distances. Time to see what happens. Let's get started. It gets pretty scary towing a trailer that weighs more than the truck. Our goal is 10,000 pounds back here and the truck only weighs about 7,000. And technically, Ford says that anything above 5,000 pounds on the trailer needs a weight distribution hitch. A distribution hitch acts as a leaf spring, spreading out the load from a single ball out to the frame of the trailer. Multiple points of contact spread out the load. That's not going anywhere joke gets me every time. However, that particular style of hitch isn't made for this style of trailer, so I'm just precisely balancing my load instead. Ford does have a truck package that has a scale built into the tongue. However, the Lightning I have today is only the Pro model, which Pro in the phone world means top of the line, but in the truck world, Pro means the most basic. So I'm going to use the same way safe hitch we used in my Rivian video to get the correct load numbers, making sure we don't have more than 1,000 pounds on the tongue. 1,000 pounds is also 10% of our total trailer load. Thankfully, WaySafe is sponsoring this video. I don't want to lose the Lightning or the electric Hummer. And if this trailer is loaded wrong, we very well could. As you can see, the trailer is level with the truck and most of the weight is over the trailer axles, the weight being the batteries in the EV Humvee. The WaySafe hitch adds a very nice peace of mind, visually displaying the exact tongue weight being applied. There's a small hydraulic piston underneath the stainless steel ball, giving us the reading. The WaySafe hitch is made right here in the USA, just down the road from me here in Utah. I'll leave a link down in the description, and huge thanks to WaySafe for sending this out and keeping us all safe. The truck can tow 10,000 pounds, the hitch can hold 12,000 pounds, and we should only have 10,000 pounds behind the truck. It's gonna be interesting. So right now we are weighing 9,700 pounds. Now last time we forgot to calculate the tongue weight of the truck. So if you add 9,700 to the tongue weight of 1,000, we end up with exactly 10,000 pounds. Nobody tell Ford. As we merge onto the freeway, just for kicks and giggles, uh, we did a zero to 60 with the Rivian and uh, it was 12 seconds. We'll see what the Ford does. Feeling out a little bit. Traction control's kicking on. 30, 40, 50, 60. And we are at 12.3. That's the exact same as the Rivian. That's insane. I thought having two motors might make it a little less powerful going up the on-ramp. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. 
last time we had a little bit of gravel peel out. This time just the tires were spinning a little bit on the asphalt, but uh, maybe that's why they're both the exact same. But still, so much power. I can barely feel the trailer behind me. So much fun to drive. So as of right now, it looks like we've gone about 38 miles and the guesstimate on this truck has been nearly spot on. We left at about 150 miles of range predicted and right now it's saying we have 100 miles left. So it's doing way better than the Rivian. The Rivian calculations were way off. As far as how it drives and handles, this it does feel slightly more jerky. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's just a tiny bit more... I don't know, it's not as smooth, and I think that has to do with the suspension. The Rivian does have an air suspension, which is slightly more cushiony than what we have here in the Lightning. However, one place that the Lightning slaughters the Rivian is in the display. There is so much more information on this dashboard than we have in my truck. Take a look. When I'm on the towing screen, it can tell me the tilt of the truck. But the screen I like the most is the power distribution screen, where I can see how much power is being utilized by both the front motor and the rear motor, as well as the regenerative braking. Anytime I slow down, the Lightning is taking the weight of the truck and turning it into energy using the electric motors to recharge the batteries. I do feel like the regen in my Rivian is slightly stronger and slows down the trailer more, but the concept is the same. And at least here in the Lightning, we have all that information visible on the display. 10 out of 10. I guess if we do run out of battery here though in the Lightning, we can always uh, turn on the Hummer and tow the whole package with that instead. Maybe. Not only do we have power and regen, but we also have the temperature for the batteries and the motors, which is also not information that we would get on any other EV. For me, more information is better. So I figured out why the Regen doesn't feel as strong on the Lightning as it does my Rivian, and that's because when I let off the gas, the accelerator, uh, it doesn't kick on full Regen immediately, but when I apply the brake, it first applies Regen and then the brakes, which is very interesting. So here we are accelerating like normal, letting off the gas, and then applying the brake, you can see the Regen go crazy. All that power going back into the battery. Well, 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 we just hit 101 miles, so we've gone farther than the Rivian made it, and we still have 28 miles left of, uh, of our fuel, and we are seven miles away from the gas station. And by gas station, I mean charging station. So we should make it, fingers crossed. The majority of the 112 miles we drove today were freeway driving, if I had to guess, probably about 80% of them. The rest of it was just driving around town, stop and go, stoplights, that kind of thing. But overall, a pretty realistic test if you're gonna be hauling something long distances, you're most likely gonna be using the freeway. Made it to the charging station, but before we plug in, I gotta show you the wildest thing. Cause I have to pull into this charger and in order to back up, I just wanted to make sure that I could do it. Anyway, the Ford F-150 Lightning has a button that automatically backs up for you and it's pretty wild. So this down here is where you set up the trailer brake gain, like how much brake the trailer applies to your truck. And then you can squeeze it right here to add uh, trailer brake as you're driving. So fully squeezed, not squeezed, squeeze, not squeeze, kind of fun. Anyway, this is the backup assist where it uh, backs up the trailer for you. So if I go into reverse, it has the backup footage on the screen here, like the rear view cameras and stuff. And then I let off the brake pedal and we start moving back in a straight line. And if I turn the knob left, the trailer starts angling left, the back of the trailer. And if I turn the knob right, the trailer starts angling right. I don't even have to touch the steering wheel anymore. I just have to visually see what's going on with the edge of the trailer. Wow, this is crazy. It's like self-driving, but for trailer backupping. Wild. Anyway, now I'm much more confident about going forward into a stall that I need to back out of. That was really cool. Nice work. Pulling up to the charger, I might be taking up two stalls, but technically I do have two electric vehicles. I definitely planned my trip this time around, you know, figuring out where the chargers were at instead of winging it like last time. That was a fiasco and this time went much smoother. And fun little tidbit, it looks like while towing my Humvee, we got one mile per kilowatt hour, which is the exact same efficiency that my Hummer has when driving all by itself. 
So Ford has done something pretty special here. The Lightning, while towing 10,000 pounds, is just as efficient as my Hummer towing nothing. Overall, it was a pretty fun trip. We ended up going just about 112 miles with 18 miles left of fuel in the tank. 30 miles more than my Rivian. Now, that could be due to a couple things. I do like my Rivian, but I think it's either the street tires and or that it's not cold anymore. Today is a spring day and much, much, much warmer than it was three months ago when I did the previous test. Right now we're plugged into the charger at 150 kilowatts. We should be able to get back up to 90% in just about 35 or 40 minutes. And 90% will give me another 100 miles of range, give or take. As a bonus, I don't even have to pay for it since any new Ford comes with some amount of free charging. But if I was charging at home, a tank charging from empty to full would only cost about 13 bucks, which isn't that bad. Anyway, let me know what you think. How close were you to your guess that you had at the beginning of the video? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, let me know if you wanna see this done to the Cybertruck, if that ever comes out. If you have any questions, leave them down there as well. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.